Somebody clap your hands. Clap. No, I'm just fine. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys want to see how I achieved this cute pink flirty Valentine's Day look, stay tuned. Today we're going to be using the James Charles palette. I absolutely love this palette. This is a very versatile palette and I think it's definitely one of those palettes if you don't want to take a lot with you when you're traveling, I would definitely recommend this one. But let's get right into this video. I am going to be using a Morphe M332 brush and I'm going in with this purple color and it is called Escape. So I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to pack it onto my eyelid and into the crease and I'm just going to build that color up. And I found it easier if you put the color that you want in your crease on first and then blend it out with the color, with your transitioning color, it works much better. And you see I've already prepped my um, eyes and done my eyebrows off camera. And I mainly do that because I hate when I watch a tutorial and they spend like 10 to 15 minutes on their eyebrows and then I'm just like, okay sis, like, come on with it. And I'm just going to keep packing this on like I did the other lid. And I built the color up and then blend it. Because if you kind of built it and then blend, built and blend, like you're going to be here forever. Like it's, it just takes too long. So just blend it up or build it up and then blend it out. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with my Morphe R38 brush. And I'm going in with the color Skip. And it's this hot pink color. Oh, that is so pretty. And I'm just gonna blend out the purple, okay? And this is a great blending brush. I love it. It's from their Rose Gold Collection. And just keep blending. Sometimes blending takes a hot minute, but that's, that's, that's the eyeshadow game. This is gonna be like a Valentine's Day look. Something bold, but flirty and friendly. Sometimes I take a smaller brush and go in and blend as well. And this is a e.l.f. detailed crease brush. And e.l.f. is really good. I like their products and they're definitely price friendly. Sometimes you just need a smaller brush to get in right where you want it to blend out and diffuse those lines. Let's come together. I lost that purple a little bit. So I'm gonna go back in with the purple and build it back up. And sometimes that does happen when you're blending everything out. But I really want that purple to show, so I'm just gonna go back in. And then I'm gonna just tap into the pink. Again, that is the color Skip. And the purple is called Escape in the James Charles palette. I'm gonna go back in with, I'm just using the same brushes. I haven't switched. I'm just blending this out and keeping the colors very vibrant. So I'm kind of liking how that looks. All right, so let's go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye. I'm just gonna go in right on top of that purple with the pink. But I get it done hard sometimes. All right, out here, but bam. No, I'm just playing. But it, it is kind of challenging for me sometimes, only because it's really hard for me to, well, at first it was much, much harder for me to like switch sides and do the same exact thing. But so I found that, of course, my left eye to me always looks better. And if you're watching my video and you're new, don't forget to subscribe. I am doing a giveaway for a Morphe palette and a few of their Morphe brushes. I don't know which brushes I'm gonna give away yet, but Morphe right now is my favorite brush. So I figure, why not put it in a giveaway? So if you want to win a Morphe palette and a few of their brushes, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, babe. Really liking the way this is blending out. 
So I'm gonna use some Morphe brushes. It's like they do the blending. And this is not a sponsored video. I literally just, I love Morphe brushes. Like they do the blending for you. Like they do the work for you. There's no, no doubt about it. Like if you don't have Morphe brushes, girl, add this to, add this to your, uh, your collection, babe. Cause you know, y'all know y'all want that Morphe palette. Y'all want that Morphe palette. Ooh. And it may even be this James Charles palette. You never know. I just said Morphe palette. So I don't want to like over blend it or like keep messing with it because then that's when it starts getting all messed up and you got to go back and fix more than what you had to fix. So I think it looks pretty good right there. Let's go ahead and cut that crease, sis. I did cut the crease off camera only because that is a very, very tedious thing and it takes a little time and patience and you have to go slow. So for the sake of this video, I did not want to make it extremely long with you watching me cut my crease. So I did it off camera. So now we have done that. I am going to go in with the Morphe M505 brush. And I'm gonna go back in with that purple that um, I put in my crease. And I'm just going to go ahead and kind of bring it in towards the inner part of my lid. And I am using more of a fluffier brush. Blend that on in. And I used the Tarte Shape Tape to um, prep my eyes and cut my crease, if you guys were wondering. And I'm just gonna basically diffuse that and bring it inwards. And then we're gonna go in with some glitter for the inner part. Bring that purple in. So you just bring it inward. I don't want to use particularly one palette because when I was learning how to do makeup, I hated when I got on and they got two, three, four, five palettes like sis. I don't have all that, so no. So I just stuck with the one palette. But I am gonna go in with the NYX Sprinkle Town. Sorry, I could not see that. And this is what it looks like. And I think I'm gonna use this pink right here. I was thinking this one, but I think I want to use this one. So, I don't, it doesn't really have like color names or anything. So basically with this, you kinda of just wanna use like a flat brush like this. And this brush doesn't really have a name. And I'm just gonna basically place it right in there but I'm not gonna go above my crease and again this could take a little time too but you just gotta be patient and this sometimes does apply better with your finger because sometimes depending on what type of brush you use it doesn't want to pick it up so I'm just going right there at the crease Oh, this is so pretty. I love this. I actually love this better than loose glitter, but I will still play with loose glitter. But this one, and then it, it doesn't come, you know how when you're using glitter and you go to like wipe your makeup off, glitter is everywhere. This does not do that, like whatsoever. So this eye is a struggle bus, but you know, practice makes perfect. So I am a believer of that because honey, few years ago, I couldn't even do this. Like, I, mm -mm. I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I'm gonna go back in with that purple and kind of just blend it into the glitter, which I don't need much. And then what you always wanna do with the glitter, you wanna just kind of like feather it into the purple so it looks like it just blends perfectly. Or it's kind of like a gradient effect. You don't want it to be like purple boom glitter, like no, that's ugly. So you just wanna kinda of just, you don't need to add more to the brush. You just take it and you just kinda of just feather it out. Kinda of like I'm doing right here. So just feather it out. And to use like, it's best to use a flat brush with when you're using this glitter as well. Cause it's just more precise than a round one. So you just wanna, Ooh, look at that. So now we're gonna go in with this Clinique 72 hour moisture surge moisturizer. Uh, this is now one of my favorite moisturizers to use. I was using um, a Neutrogena one, which you know, it was really good, but I have really oily skin and this just helps control my oil as well as keep me moisturized. 
So I, this is my like favorite. This is what I use now to uh, make sure I moisturize. And also you wanna have a good skincare, skincare routine, morning and night, which will also help your face, of course, going. And this was only like $20 from Ulta. So it's really a good one to not break the pocket. And this is designed to take the moisture out of, you, out of the air and put it back into your face. And then I use matte foundation. So if your skin is not moisturized, before you put that matte foundation on there, honey, you gonna wish it was. So now, I am going to try out a new product. And this is the e.l.f. Prep and Blur Stick. Now I've never used it, so this is the first time. So pray for me, sis. And this is what it, it looks like. I don't know if you can see it, but so I'm scared. Lord, if this backfires on me, I'm gonna be so upset. You don't know understand. So I'm just gonna rub that in too. I'm just with my fingers. It kind of feels like um, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, but just in like a stick form. It feels just like that. Work that into my skin with my fingers. Literally feels just like the Smashbox Photo, Smashbox photo finish are the poreless um, foundation. I'm not foundation, primer. All right, so I think the foundation that I want to use today is my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation, one that I'm using. And I am in the color Warm Caramel. Don't like it, don't like it. So I'm just gonna put it on my beauty blender. Put it on that way. This is by one of my favorite matte foundations. Fenty is number one. Fenty is definitely number one. And then it will have to be this one. But this is a good one for the price point. It's only $15. And if you catch NYX.com, you you can find it on sale. Find it on sale, sis. I'm all about a sale and saving a queen. So now I'm going in with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. I absolutely love this. Like, I'm so glad that they came out with this. And I'm in the color caramel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right there. You know, I'm not gonna lie. When I started doing this, I used to be so nervous. Like, I wanted everything to be perfect. But you know, I kinda realized that it ain't gonna be. And y'all gonna watch me. Y'all gonna stick to me. Y'all gonna subscribe to my channel. Whether I'm perfect or not. Like that little eyebrow mess up. It's okay. Cause that happens. That's gonna happen. Just keep rolling with the punches. Keep rolling with the punches, boo. And again, if you wanna learn, don't don't let nobody discourage you. You you continue to do what you wanna do. Cause for the longest like my self esteem was real low like when it came to makeup. That's why oh no, my, my makeup don't look like hers. But your makeup's not gonna look like the next person. Your makeup may not look as good as the next person. But you keep doing it, okay? Like, you, you don't give up because when you give up, and I honestly, I thought about giving up. I thought that, okay, I ain't good enough to make it and I ain't good enough to, to be as good as them, so I'm just gonna quit. Don't do that, sis. Like, just keep trying. Just keep practicing, keep trying, and it will come. I promise you it will come because I told y'all, a year ago, my makeup did not look like this. I didn't know how to contour. I, I didn't know what I was doing. I'm telling you, I slapped one shadow on my eye, and that'd be that. What do I be thinking? Keep practicing, don't give up. And then you gonna get it, boo. You gonna get it. Cause I'm telling you, <laughs> my ain't look this good this a year ago. Look at the hair, just get out the way. And one trick that I have learned, like, once, if you put um, contour down your nose, like when you're trying to highlight, it'll it'll make it the guy easier for when you go in and contour your nose because you're literally just gonna put it right next to that. And it just makes it easier to get in there and contour that. So that is a trick that I've learned to 
Cause like right now, I just know I gotta go right here to contour my nose. Can't stop, won't stop. Setting powder. They just came out with this not too long ago. And I believe it's $15 in the color banana. And I'm gonna use my beauty blender. Everybody clap your hands. Clap, cause I'm just fine. Girl, I didn't even do nothing. Like, damn. I can't say it's a struggle to get their stuff out. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and set. I'm not gonna bake. I'm just gonna set it because this is already a matte foundation. So I don't want it to pull. I don't want it to be too dry. I don't want to wanna bake, but I'm gonna go ahead and set it. So I'm just gonna go in and set with that powder everywhere that I put that concealer. And this is a brightening powder too. It's not a translucent powder. It's a brightening powder. I'm gonna go in with another NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer. And I'm gonna use this to contour. And this is in the color Deep Cool. Y'all, am I the only one that once you start putting makeup on your face, your nose act like it won't itch? Comment below if it does that to you. Cause that is so annoying. It'd be looking like I'm digging up my nose, but I promise y'all I ain't, I promise. I promise. All right, so if you don't know where to contour your cheese, go like this. You can put it right there. You don't need that much either. Cause when you blend it, it's gonna And blend up. Do not blend down. Girl, you're gonna that mustache. Now I'm gonna go ahead and blend this forehead. Girl, yeah, I feel like I got a big forehead. You ain't gonna tell me otherwise. I gotta sneeze and it won't come. Put little dots on the forehead. Girl, I ain't even eating no well. Again, if you're new to my channel, subscribe, baby. You know you don't wanna miss none of these videos. And just a giveaway reminder, I am giving away a Morphe palette and a few of Morphe, Morphe brushes. Morphe brushes are my favorite. And I feel like every makeup artist should have some Morphe. All right, so now I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills kits and medium to tan. And I'm gonna set everywhere that I put the contour. Well, concealer to come. And remember, if you use cream or liquid anything, you wanna set it with the powder. And I did, and I forgot to do that one time. You don't even wanna know how it came out. That was cracking everywhere. It was, it was just not cute, girl. Not cute. So now we're gonna go in with the MAC Prep Prime Fix Plus Spray. And we're gonna set it. But now we're gonna back in with this palette. We're gonna go in and finish up under our eyes, baby. And I'm using the Morphe 560 brush. Tell you, Morphe's my favorite brand. Y'all think I'm lying? I'm going in with that pink, just ever so lightly. This Morphe E36 brush. If it will focus. I'm going right over that that um that pink with the purple. Then I'm gonna do the other eye. 
and this is very very pretty and this is eternal glow and it's intense y'all i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna hold you up sis and we're gonna use this real techniques 307 brush to apply it so typically when you open it up you have the residue in there that little bit of residue is all you need because trying to dip it into the actual powder you'll pick up way more than what you need and then you just gonna be a bright something so you just i'm gonna put it right along here Ooh, just i dip it into the top i don't dip it into the powder because it's just far too much look at that it's just so pretty y'all there's and then like all the colors with this highlight is extremely pretty I've, I've only dipped I've only dipped into the lid I haven't even dipped into the powder you, prime example it would have been way worse if I dipped if I dipped if I dipped into the powder so now you just kind of got to diffuse it like look how it's but it's so pretty though like I, I oh I loved it there at first they're um, I think it was Cotton Candy of their new line that came out around Christmas was my favorite, but this is not my favorite. I love a pinky rose gold. And to do my nose, I just dip my finger and kind of just do it that way. So, so that's it. And now look. Again, I've only used the lid. That's all you need, like, and that's so pretty. Like, look. Mm-hmm. So, this one little thing will last you a minute. See what this Victoria's Secret look like on top of it. Mm, that looks better. Yeah, I'm goofy. The Victoria's Secret, uh, color gloss um this is what it looks like it probably don't like this anymore because they did rebranding of their uh lip glosses and the color has wiped off so i don't know what the name of it sorry Here is the final look guys I hope you love this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you're new welcome to my channel and I would love for you to hit the subscribe button to be entered into the giveaway comment below and tell me how I did and let me know how your Valentine's Day went so I'll see you guys soon